Consider a right triangle whose hypotenuse is one unit length placed in such a way that its hypotenuse lies horizontally. And let theta be an angle. Draw more lines to form a rectangle and two smaller right triangles. By the properties of triangles, the angles here and here are also equal to theta. Remember the definition of sine and cosine and rearrange to obtain the lengths of sides of a side and adjacent to theta. Focus on the first triangle. Its hypotenuse is 1, so naturally the opposite side to theta will be exactly sine of theta, and the adjacent side will be cosine of theta. Move to the smaller triangle on the right side. Its hypotenuse is sine of theta, so the side opposite to theta will be sine squared of theta. Similarly, for the triangle on the left side, its hypotenuse is cosine of theta, so the side adjacent to theta will be cosine squared of theta. However, since it is a part of the rectangle, the rectangle's sides above and below must be of the same length. That is, sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta is equal to 1. Q, E, D, quad, erat, demonstrandum.